Let me show you how to put an Autotech fuel pump upgrade inside your high-pressure fuel pump. Um, I went looking online and holy shit, it's some of the most incoherent write-ups, so I'm not going to say this is any better, but let me show you how to do it. So to get to the pumps, uh, it's pretty easy. On this particular car, the driver side is where the high pressure sensor is. This is the sensor for activation of the pump through the ECU. So we're going to want to remove these two things. The pressure line, right? Pressure sensor, so be careful, you don't want to break that. And then this is the actuation. Um, on yours, yours might look different because we're putting the uh, fuel upgrade uh, lines on here, so it is an individual feed, uh, but that's earlier in the video. 18 millimeter. You're going to want to remove that. <clears throat> uh, and then these are M10 triple squares. So it, when you're removing it, probably would be helpful to have it in the remove position. It's pretty straightforward. The piston is spring loaded. So you want to try to do your very best to take the tension off evenly when you're going and removing this. Because again, there's a spring-loaded piston underneath it. So we're going to pull this off and then you can see it slowly pushing itself up. That basically what you're seeing there is just the tension of the piston uh, pushing the unit up. So you take out your M10 triple squares, and then removal should be really easy. You're just going to give it a gentle shake, and then pull upward, and there it comes. Okay, so let's go on the bench, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, so what we're doing is we are doing the Autotech um, uh, fuel pump upgrade. This is my part number for it. And... How about that? I didn't even open the box. This is totally not prepared. It probably says somewhere, like, be careful about opening the box. All right, so you're going to open it up, and there's your piston, right? So let's take a look at the stock unit that we're replacing. Kind of works like this. Here's the Autotech one. They're pretty different. Uh, all right, so you guys get to watch for a half hour while I fight with a and bag. All right, so you're not going to mistake the two, but here's how they look. It looks like what's happening is they've thinned out the wall to allow more fuel to get in to the area. And... I don't know. And it looks like they've helped give a bigger piston, so surface area wise, um, in theory, you'd think a bigger piston could push more fuel. I don't know. Speculation, I'll be honest. I don't really know the science behind it, but that's what we're dealing with. So this is what we're going to be taking out. I would suggest that you get the tool uh, to help disassemble the pump. We're going to put it in a vise, or you can swear in several different languages and try to fight with it. Uh, here's what I noticed. There's a flat side here, and there's a flat side here. When you put it in the pump inside the vise, seat it down. Remember, this is your high pressure sensor. This is the sensor for actuation of the pump controlled by the engine computer. So we're going to get it in there, and then you're going to, it's going to take some gusto. So you're going to want to tighten your vise well but don't like monster tron stand on the vice to where um you know you don't have to go overboard you don't need to crush the piece but you definitely don't want it to move okay so online i saw somebody fighting with this um not sure why you do that you basically just pull straight up so um and then after you've pulled this up you're going to have to remove this section. But let me just tell you, okay, so we didn't fight online. We literally, yes, that's right, folks, pull right up. Um, and then once you've pulled up, you can see that your piston 
is caught in here. Now at this point, you can go and remove the collar from the spring. I hope you can see that. So there you go. The collar's off of the spring, right? So here is our old pump, right? We're gonna set that down. We're gonna set our spring down. We're gonna set our collar down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna put our tool, which is a really good idea to get the tool. And then we are going to take uh, a one inch, or this is an inch and an eighth. Uh, remember that inch and an eighth uh, huge open end wrench that you just had sitting there like, what am I ever gonna use it for? Well, it technically is not the right fit, but it's just enough. You're gonna use it today to rotate out, remember, lefty Lucy. So we're gonna go and we're gonna break this. All right, so yeah, so might tighten plus on the pump otherwise. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of force to get this nut off. Um, but as you rotate it, it starts coming up. All right. Okay. So this blue O-ring and then this bottom ring here, just inspect to make sure they're in good shape. Should you replace it? Yeah. Uh, I'm not doing it, so um, if I have a problem, I'll let you know. Uh, there's a notch in here, right? What does the notch point at? Literally nothing. I, for the longest time, was wondering what the notch was for. Um, but just for shits and giggles, it looked to me like this hole was going to the pressure side. But I never saw anywhere in the instructions that that's an issue, so basically I'm just mumbling. So we're going to go and set this part down, right? So we've removed our piston. We have our cylinder. Now at this point, you can see this slides up and down as it's supposed to in the car, right? You're going to want to get a little bit of gas on the shaft because you're going to need to run the shaft through here. And I'll tell you right now, it's, it's, there's a little bit of a friction fit. Um, so they suggest using the available fuel. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take the, I'm just, why not? You know, pour gas everywhere, right? Cause why not? Okay. So I'm lubricating the, lubricating the shaft uh, and now getting my glove stuck which is we'll work that out in the edit um all right so get the shaft all lubed up make sure it oh yeah because all right drop them both in right and there is there's going to be a little bit of movement. Gently push the shaft down and then you're going to bring and slowly slide the apparatus, apparatus back in. Tighten it down. I just let everything free spin because underneath here there is no friction. So that way we're not creating any friction, even though this rod is going to be sliding up and down. <clears throat> We've tightened this. I'm going to get the uh, uh, get the big wrench out and put a tighten on it. Um, I'm not really sure the actual foot pounds. Mine is oh yeah, that's tight plus uh, okay, so tight plus maybe an eighth or a quarter. So I'm going to do that right now, and then I'm going to check back in. All right, so we gave a pretty healthy Titan. <clears throat> and now it's time to reinsert our spring and keeper. It is as easy as pulling up, 
sliding the spring over. And then depending on how high up you bring Okay, so uh, the reinstall, you have to get this keeper back under, again, the piston, as we have. And what I had to do to do that, as you can see, I can push down on the spring here. So I had a screwdriver, and I, I don't want to redo it. Um, had a screwdriver, and I pushed down. I don't know if you can... Hold on. All right. <clears throat> You can see, all right, scooter, and look, you can really hold it and push it, and then slide, slide the keeper back on. It's uh, it's less than spectacularly fun, um, but if you tilt the spring down push down and hold it on the sides you can slide it in and that gets the pump install upgrade done and then pretty much the same all right so there's a notch here Right here is our cam follower. So what you want to do before you do any of this is give that a quick inspection and make sure that you don't need to replace your cam follower before you install the upgrade. I want to use the right size tool for the job. Pull your cam follower up. You can see a little bit of wear, but nothing terrible. Inspect in there, see if everything looks good. I don't see any reason to worry. There's the notch down the side of the wall. That's what this rides in. This notch. So we did a. Yep. So we're going to pull it out. There's two pinholes. Pull it out. Take a look down there. Make sure you lied. Line it back up for the reinstall. Let it sink back in. Make sure you get all the debris out of the way. And then when you're going to put your pump back in, obviously remember the orientation. Get all your wires out of the way. The spring is going to start to be working against you. Line everything up, get your bolts installed, and then as you tighten it, you want to tighten it in a sequence just how you loosened it, where you're going from one side to the other. All right. Now we're tightening it back down, so you're going to start on one side, do about two full revolutions, you'll feel it start to get tight, bounce back to the other side, should go in pretty easily, obviously make sure your fuel line's out of the way, everything else is 
not hampering you from tightening it down. As you can see, we're just working side to side until it's flush and then tight and a quarter. It's a good place to start. You're going to have to take the tension off your fuel line to tighten it back up. And there you go.